There is a free tank on World of Tanks and of course today's video is looking at a vehicle at tier 8 that you can pick up for free without spending any money whatsoever on the game and it is the Kanonen and Yang Panzer 105. Now it might seem slightly different uh, in terms of the look of this Kanonen Yang Panzer 105 since this is the skinned version but it is literally the same tank so you can uh, make of the description of this um, basically the exact same as the Kanonen Yang Panzer 105 and you can pick up the vehicle at season rank 75 I believe so when you get to season rank 75 you will pick up this tier 8 German tank destroyer that is it's kind of like if you had a beefy version of an E25. The concealment, the camo, everything about it in terms of that is very much similar to the E25, but you don't get the little pea shooter. You have this 390 alpha damage, 105 millimeter cannon that is very, very accurate and also able to dish out damage to so many different opponents. And you can really be a little rat in this vehicle. And I've really enjoyed playing it actually. And I thought, you know what? A non turreted tank destroyer that doesn't have any armor, that doesn't really have. Uh, amazing unbelievable speed uh, it definitely has very good speed uh, but it's not outrageously fast or anything like that like the e25 is i thought you know what this is probably going to be average but this tank i actually really found to be super rewarding to play and it is because you have the ability to deal a ton of damage if you find yourself in the right situation and it is down to your positioning as to whether or not you actually come away with a nice chunk of damage so What's happening in this game? Well, it is your typical game um, where you've essentially got the enemy team just YOLOing with the one vehicle that we have on our team that's over in the southern side of the map. And unfortunately for him, it is going to be curtains. There's no way he's going to come out with the rest of his hit points. And we're now just trying to get some damage early on so we can uh, at least get a decent amount of damage before maybe we get rushed by the whole enemy team. So you're seeing there, we didn't actually manage to pen the Progetto, which I was kind of a bit salty about. I was hoping to get a blind shot on him um, since he literally just got undetected. And then, of course, in typical World of Tanks console fashion, you hit the Bulldog, but then he snaps you over the hill and actually manages to pen you because fantastic. So, what do you notice about this vehicle having received the hit from the M41? Well, of course, it has absolutely no armor and don't even think that you have a single bit whatsoever. You are not going to bounce anything in this vehicle. You have probably in the region of about 40 millimeters of armor, which means most things, much like the E25, are going to be able to pen you. So you cannot rely on anything like that and so what you have to do is make sure that you have always positioned yourself in a position that essentially allows your teammate to support you and this tank is very much a support tank now you could see the thought process process in my brain here is i'm on a limb i'm on my own in a non-turreted tank that is essentially out in the middle of nowhere I'm not going to be very useful to anyone and even if I can get off at maybe two more shots that's probably going to be it by the time the enemies can take me out from full health. So what do we do instead? Well considering our team are taking an absolute eternity to finish off one vehicle on this flank it's time to finish off the vehicle on this flank and of course we're going for some tracking assist damage as well so what we're doing here is just getting nice up close and personal with his rear track so we're just plowing rounds into it getting a bit of assistance damage whilst also dealing damage and then trying to avoid any further shells that may or may not be coming in as you see the artillery targeted symbol arrive in the bottom left of our screen so with 2,000 damage done and 670 assistance, it's a good game in the Kanonen Panzer 105. Um, so far, you know, speculatively, I'd be it'd be an average game. But the good thing about it is that we haven't really lost a ton of hit points. There's still plenty of damage left in the game, and in fact, there's actually tons of tier eight vehicles on the enemy team that are, to all intents and purposes, not going to be able to really do a whole lot to us in this sort of position and this is where you want to be in your Kanonen uh, because what you can do is you can plow rounds into opponents that maybe just 
don't quite have the vision to be able to hit you or maybe they're kind of camping in a corner like the one medium tank on the enemy team uh, we try and go for a blind fire there as we saw the shells coming in must have been fairly close to actually hitting the G saw but not quite entirely of course just waiting to aim a little bit and then we hit the G saw which is nice and he's of course looking directly at us I'm hoping that he's gonna fire again and we'll know exactly where he is we go for the blind fire doesn't quite work out but there's still a waffle E100 on the enemy team and luckily for us he's in a position that we're able to hit so you see us going for the tracking damage there on the side of him uh, as well as also getting the real damage I'm very cautious as to the G saw since that can basically two shot us at this point uh, um, and whilst doing so we finish off the waffle and hopefully we'll find the G-saw on the enemy team which we do and of course going for the final damaging hit in the game securing up the G-saw as well so you see the difference with the Kanonen over something that maybe was a little heavier that doesn't have the nimble nimbleness oh, I don't even know if that's a word but you know it's not as agile as the Kanonen to be able to relocate like we did and come out with a result that was very very good as well as picking up 300,000 silver in this tank which is amazing because we were using the times two silver boost so that is basically double silver um, and so yeah really really amazing result in the Kanonen and if you can replicate this you're going to earn a ton of silver as well as playing a tank that is very very rewarding but what about a different matchup what about a different map let's jump into the next replay so the replay in question is Rezenai and Rezenai is a map that I've always enjoyed playing really really uh, quite quite a lot I feel like it has a little bit of everything and as I always say on the channel the more of everything that a map has typically the better it is so for example Himmelsdorf I absolutely hate because in some classes you are basically just useless or way worse than some other classes um, and it leads to imbalance in the matchmaker which means you have more 15 and 0 battles where one team just absolutely steamrolls the other because they got more heavy tanks on a heavy tank map. So having a map that is uh, generally uh, a bit more diverse and can be used by tons of different types of classes of tank that is generally the more balance map so um, the good thing about having a tank destroyer that, that, that's this fast is you can get early damage and early damage is one of the biggest things that can impact your game in world of tanks because if you can secure the hit points of your vehicle without taking a single hit point of damage within the first couple of minutes of the battle then you have definitely had a good job and it allows you to make plays as the game goes on that maybe you wouldn't be able to make with reduced hit points and with reduced damage you can feel a lot more confident as the game goes on and you can just hope that you're going to end up uh, with a bit more damage um, at the end of it as well so taking a spot like this is a good one for the beginning of the game if you're playing a fast medium or a tank destroyer like the Kanonen um, but one thing that you should always know is that this position is typically one that doesn't work after the enemy team take the castle and you can see with the enemy team taking the castle this position is about to become pretty much useless because you can get hit from the side now you're seeing here some lead on the tiger shark and we managed to hit him with the great accuracy that the Kanonen has uh, and that is really the uh, the key thing that I enjoyed most about this tank now you're seeing here the accuracy coming in and of course getting a little bit triggered with myself there for missing it was probably down to the fact that I just fired too late um, whether or not it was any kind of lag intermittent I don't even know but you know either way it was a terrible shot should have led it a little bit more and we would have come away with more damage talking about lead a lovely shell on the Lancer not fully aimed does indeed hit um, so yeah we kind of make up for it there um, but with the Lancer now progressing over to the left I'm thinking you know what we don't really want to get hit from all angles so let's take out this Lancer straight away let's get into a position where we can deal with him realistically maybe I should have got in the bush because that would have kept me hidden but I'm pretty confident in the camo factor of this vehicle to be able to maintain distance between us and the Lancer without getting spotted so it didn't really make a whole lot of difference but now pulling behind the bush a little bit more uh, pretty much guaranteeing us to remain undetected but unfortunately didn't manage to hit there seems to be some rocks or uh, some sort of uh, object in the way 
But given the fact that we've done the damage that we have within this replay 2000, I'm very, very confident that we can have a good game from this point. Um, and you can see here managing to find the King Dragon on the enemy team who's out in the open appears like his brain is now switched on and he can actually see us. The Tiger P also on the enemy team making the mistake of going up into the uh, kind of castle area but unfortunately for us maybe our brain didn't switch on there and the t77 the auto loading tier 8 manages to plow around into us before we really realize and then this king dragon decided to yolo our freedom and unfortunately for us because we're auto aiming like you never should if you can fully aim which i would highly recommend you always fully aim unless uh, you're in this sort of position uh, we try and go for the shell now the king dragon is most likely going to go for us because easy damage but we can put one more into him and hopefully he bounces he doesn't manage to firing those heat rounds and we try and avoid the damage there if i was being a super super uh, trying to try hard or whatever i wouldn't have gone in anywhere close to him so we would have avoided the extra 100 damage or like 50 damage that we took from the ram but other than that you can see even a game where your team basically stomp the opponents you can come out with a decent chunk of damage because of the uh, damage per minute that the tank can deal the reload of the vehicle I just think that as a tank destroyer, this is such an all-round, really enjoyable tank that I love playing and of course earns you a ton of silver at the same time. So I'm really, really happy Wargaming introduced this as part of the Season Pass rewards. It is for once a balanced tank. So thank you very much Wargaming, really did appreciate you actually putting in some new tanks that haven't been available for free yet so yeah big thumbs up from me and of course hopefully you guys enjoy playing the Kanonan. if you don't please let me know and tell me what you would uh, what you think of the vehicle because it could all be completely different but yeah I'm interested to see what you guys have to say other than that if you want to check out some more of the season pass tanks like the object 780 we have a live stream where we covered it it is awful is the rundown and of course uh, some of the new and recent vehicles that Wargaming have introduced and coming soon will be the German medium tank or that might have been yesterday's video so yeah have a look and the channel and I hope you will enjoy those videos and you'll join me in those as well but other than that I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day and a fantastic rest of your week and a good Christmas if I don't see you before goodbye